Hi, I'm Dr. Rasya Dikshit from Dr. Dikshit Clinic, Bangalore. I'm a dermatologist in practice from the last 18 years. Why does acne scar? This is a very important question that most of our patients want to know about. When we talk about acne, we know that acne is very common in across all age groups. It is now becoming common both in men and women. And since all of us get acne, but only some of us develop acne scars, let us learn what are the reasons why some of us scar very easily and some of us escape without scarring at all. Acne is a disease where the oil glands which are located deep inside the skin get infected and then because of the blockage they cause a inflammation inside the skin and the, when they burst they cause a lot of damage not only to the upper layers of the skin but also the supporting structure of the skin which is called the dermis. The amount of inflammation which happens determines whether or not you are going to scar. So yes, the type of the acne, the number of acne, the age of the acne, how long is the acne is leaving, left untreated, all causes more or less scarring. For example, if you have mild acne but it is very recurrent, it keeps coming back again and again and it is left untreated for a significant amount of time, that acne could tend to scar. If you have very dark skin color, unfortunately it also leads to more post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation which causes acne scarring. If you have large cystic acne, yes, the amount of inflammation is much more, you will likely to be able to scar. Also, habits such as picking, rubbing and you know, in irritating the skin with the application of home remedies such as garlic which are often or toothpaste which are often suggested by most Instagrammers or on Pinterest to treat acne also leads to acne scarring. With all these conditions causing acne scar, the concern with acne scar is that scar is more permanent. Scar is going to leave a permanent blemish on your skin and we want to make sure number one to prevent new scarring and to treat the scarring effectively. So in order to prevent scarring, the first treatment that I would suggest is seek treatment from a dermatologist early. Just because you have only blackheads or whiteheads, if they are occurring again and again at unusual age, even after 25 you keep getting acne, if you have large cystic acne, if you have darker skin and you get pigmented scars or if your family members have depressed scars, it is time for you to see a dermatologist to start the treatment for the acne. This prevention of new acne is actually going to go a long way in prevention of scars itself. The second, use the correct skincare which has been prescribed by the dermatologist, which could include a salicylic acid based face wash, definitely use a gel based sunscreen and topical retinoids, topical benzoyl peroxide in combinations which are recommended by your dermatologist. Next comes to the treatment per se. Once the acne scar has developed, you have to remember that there are different type of acne scars. We have atrophic acne scars which are the depressed acne scars which may be further classified into ice pick scars, rolling scars and box scar scars. You could have a hypertrophic acne scar in which the skin is elevated above the skin surface which is basically your papular acne scars more commonly seen on the nose and the chin areas and could also be hypertrophic or keloidal acne scars. And then you have the pigmented acne scars which could be just hyperpigmented or hyperpigmented and erythematous. Now with these number of acne scars being there, the treatment modalities also are very different. With the atrophic acne scars, our treatment strategy is to increase the amount of collagen and hyaluronic acid inside the skin in order to improve the texture of the skin itself. In atrophic acne scar, the problem is not in the epidermis, the problem is in the dermis or the supporting layer of the skin. So all our treatment modalities should target increasing the collagen inside the dermis. Therefore, you should try for treatments such as a fractional laser, stick cell, microneedle RF, derma roller or derma pen. We can also use quick fixes such as hyaluronic acid fillers to improve the appearance of atrophic scars. TCA cross is one of the treatments which is based on chemical peel to help the appearance of ice pick scars or large open pores. Coming to the hypertrophic scars, papular scars can be treated with a combination of radio frequency or surgical carbon dioxide laser and hypertrophic and keloidal scar can be treated with injections of localized 
steroid injections which will help to flatten out the scars. When it comes to pigmented and erythematous scars, we can use a combination of chemical peels and carbon laser to target them. Oftentimes, we have a combination of all these scar types in our skin and obviously the doctor has to choose a combination of the treatments to give you an effective treatment. To understand more about what is the type of skin care that you need and the treatments that you need, it definitely needs a detailed consultation with your doctor to understand not only your scar types, whether your acne is persistent, whether the acne has to be completely treated or not, the particular skin care as well as the treatment regimens which have to be recommended. Speak to your dermatologist today to understand more.